Well guys, here we are. We have ourselves a bit of a fix it video. <clears throat> well, what item are we fixing? Well, you remember this uh, bicycle from series of events. Uh, like assembly, uh, retail rant, uh, derailleur change, you know, tune up and all that type of videos. Um, well, recently uh, the customer has purchased a Schwinn uh, bicycle trailer from behind it. You know, the kind that uh, you'd put a uh, child in. Well, of course, it was a display model from a local retailer. And, well, if you ever bought in a TV or DVD player or a camera or anything that was a display model, you'll know it's missing. Uh, quite often they're missing some kind of pieces or pieces, you know. So, of course, he brought it to me. And uh, with a little bit of online digging, online research, I found uh, the piece that we were looking for and uh, where to locate it. Now, of course, this basically just is a little coupler, if you will, that bolts onto the back axle and uh, basically adapts the trailer to the bike. So, pretty much, we'll dump her on out, exposing all the wonderful tiny pieces. And, uh, yeah, you have the, uh, you know, main piece here. You have the little, uh, I guess you could call it a lock wash that locks it into place with a series of holes in it. With, with a corresponding, um, you know, bumps on the back of the plate that basically matches up with that hole. And then this is the pin that slides through to match everything up. Now I probably could have made something out of them with my uh, scrap steel, with my welder, but, uh, um, you know, this here is just easier and uh, a little bit better. So of course we'll go and get the bike, undo the uh, nut here, and then we can start our assembly. Okay, so the first thing I'd recommend you doing is uh, undoing the axle nut. <clears throat> Pretty much you're going to have to uh, remove it completely off of the bike. Now on this model here it has a nice shiny uh, acorn nut because of the model of bicycle. Some of them have just a plain uh, blind nut. Some of them have the nut where the threads are exposed. Some of them have a quick release type setup. So remove this washer behind it. And then there you go. So on this particular model, because it has the rack and the fender brackets, I am going to put the uh, washer back on. Then I'm going to install the black um, lock washer, if you will. Okay, so after you've got the uh, washer and then the lock washer on, it's time to install the uh, black piece here. So pretty much you put the uh, axle nut on or acorn nut or even the quick release, uh, um, you know, on. And then you kind of gently tighten her down. And this part here I'm going to need to have two hands, so I've got to put the camera down for a minute, but I will be back. Okay, so basically you tighten the uh, nut down until she's uh, finger tight. Um, as you pivot the uh, uh, bracket upwards, you'll feel those indents start to, uh, you know, bump and lock in. And then that's where you know you're getting to be uh, fairly, you know, semi-tight-ish. In the meantime, um, being you had the axle nut off, Make sure your wheel is still centered in, uh, in the frame here. And then basically you just uh, give the nut a tighten down. And uh, then she's ready to be hooked up to the trailer. So I'll give that a tighten and then we'll wheel it over to the trailer and drop the pin in. So after you got the bracket on the bike, you'll wheel the trailer over to the bike. Now you see the pin ain't quite in the proper uh, orientation. So what you do is you give the hole a little bit of a rotate and you'll see the hole from the trailer line up with the hole on the uh, bike pretty much um, right there. So we'll drop that pin in and uh, then we're good to roll. Okay guys, so as per the instructions of the customer, I have uh, relocated the bracket. Now whenever I've done this for my own uh, bicycles, 
I've always put the back, bracket straight out back because I can twist the um, you know end of the trailer to meet the holes but as per the instructions of the customer I've installed it straight um, up and down so basically it's a simple uh, one-handed if you will um, bicycle trailer a hookup and then uh, once you got the pin in you stretch that little uh, around back and then away you go okay guys so here we go pretty much um, what I'd recommend you doing after you have the trailer coupled to the bike is hooking up this little safety strap basically the safety strap um, in the event of this pin coming out or the coupler breaking or the nut coming off prevents or helps to eliminate the uh, trailer uh, taking off from the bike and ending up um, you know somewhere where you don't want it to be just on a side note like I said this trailer was a uh, display model it was one of those uh, jogging type trailers that had the little um, wheel kit out front for the jogging stroller as well as it had a uh, as well as it had a handle out back here for you know obviously the jogging and a brake uh, mechanism here too to um, for the brake um, since of course this is no longer going to be used as a jogging stroller the front wheel kit was removed and the handle was removed uh, the brake is still left on the trailer because um, it would uh, work as a parking brake uh, for the bike and the trailer if the bike is parked <clears throat> but guys um, there are other videos online how to install the Schwinn uh, instep trailer coupler but this one here was one I decided to make because of course mine is uh, um, always a little bit different than the other uh, manufactured type uh, production videos so as always you know thanks for watching Maxwell's world comment subscribe and enjoy